everybody. Today I have an unboxing of a cross stitch for you. I got this one from Amazon. I know it is available from a lot of other stores, this brand, um, but I wanted to get mine quickly. So the, um, the image is these cute butterflies. I have not done a cross stitch um, since probably f at least 15 years ago. Um, and there's a few reasons for the um, big long pause. The number one reason is actually because I'm worried that my cat will eat the cross stitch threads and die. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, the other reason is just a, you know, laziness, I guess. Um, so here's the canvas. So what comes in this kit is um, the picture, the front picture. So it has, uh, let's see, this is 32 by 47 centimeters. And I believe that's the entire canvas size. We will check. Um, I decided to get this in 14, um, 14 count fabric so these uh, stitch holes there's 14 per inch that's what that means um, the brand is joy sunday and i've been watching a lot of youtube this is what made me want to do a cross stitch again is i've been watching a lot of youtube and people have been reviewing these joy sunday canvases and they just look amazing so um here is if you are doing if you're planning on doing this either a counted cross stitch you can use this or if you wanted to do the picture again with counted cross stitch you can use this guide or if there's something on the actual canvas that you're not clear on or the printing isn't clear or something got on it you can refer back to this picture um i hope there's some english oh there is okay great um so here is the information about, um, I hope you can see that. I think, yeah, you can see that. So here's the information about all of the stitching that's gonna be going on in this canvas. We have 48 different colors. Holy cow, that's a lot of different colors, 48. Um, and then we have some back stitch in a few different colors. Um, in seven different colors, we have back stitching and you can see that that's going to be around the leaves and the flowers oh and the butterflies so pretty much everything is going to be outlined in back stitch and then we have a few french knots um it looks like those are where are those in the centers of the flowers um just those just those little white flowers have the french knots in the center so that is going to be really nice there's a nice background with trees and sky and these butterflies are so pretty this one right here is the prettiest let me show you the picture again that butterfly in the middle look at those colors that's going to be so nice and these flowers are also going to be so nice i just really like the colors on this one which is what really attracted me to this canvas um i really really like a lot of color in my diamond paintings and in my cross stitches in my um, paint by number it's really the colors that draw me in more than anything else really even more than the image itself so here are the threads very pretty colors oh i hope you can see the colors um it comes with two needles and these so there's 48 colors holy cow and there's extra of number 17 it looks like so number 17 must have that must be the main background color there's that purple that's going to be used in the flowers at the bottom 
That is so nice. And then the colors in the butterfly, let's have a quick look. The colors in that butterfly that I like so much, let's see, it's X, Z, and J, which is 32, 34, and 19. So 19, ooh, that's that really, really nice icy kind of blue there. And then 32 and 34 are these nice dark blues. So that's what's gonna be in that butterfly that I'm so keen on, that big butterfly right in the middle. Love it! Um, these threads are so pretty. I wonder also, this must be the sky colors, I'm assuming, these turquoises. Um, this is so great. So let me tell you, oh, and these are looped threads, so they're quite long. So this here, for example, this number 33, this is just one long strand. So um, you have a lot to work with. You're not gonna be constantly changing your threads. So let's have a look at the canvas. And while we look at the canvas, I am going to tell you about why I worry about my cat. So I took, I love knitting. I love all kinds of crafts. Um, and I took up knitting something a couple of years ago. I have these cats, they're young, they're only six years old. And about three years ago, I ordered a knitting kit and I left the thread, the um, yarn out and my cat got into it and swallowed it and had to have a giant operation and almost died. Um, so since then, we have been so careful about bringing home anything that has strings on it or threads hanging off it. We throw it out right away. So I am concerned about having these threads out. If she gets into them, she will eat them and there will be another operation. So what I've decided is that I will be keeping my cross stitch in um, a big Ziploc bag like this one, but maybe maybe even two of them. And I will be unbelievably careful to put that away when I'm not using it. So um, if you have pets, that's something to think of. Okay, so here is the canvas here. And so like I said, it's um, the other YouTubers reviews that kind of attracted me to this Joy Sunday kit. The reason is they have very clear symbols on their canvas. So some kits you'll get um, like just colors and then they might have like two different shades of pink or two different shades of blue. And I don't mean like light blue and dark blue. I mean like blues that are very close and you don't know which one you're using. So this one has very easy to read colors and symbols. So this light purple is the only light purple on the whole canvas. You won't get it confused with a different light purple. So these are, these are really easy to read. The other thing that they do is it's kind of like a negative image. So if you think about when you used to um, develop photos, this is the exact opposite color. Well, I'm assuming it's exact opposite, but an opposite color to what you're actually going to be stitching with so that it's really easy to tell what you have and haven't stitched. Um, because imagine if you were going over these red stitches with red thread, you'd be like, what did I do? What didn't I finish yet? You wouldn't know. So this red area is actually gonna be a light blue. That's part of the sky. So it'll be very easy when you're looking at it to figure out what you did stitch and what you didn't stitch. So that's great. This is so improved since when I was younger and all you would get is a little canvas with those little light blue X's on it and you had to figure out the colors yourself like it was sure it was a stamped cross stitch but like there was no it was not this sophisticated this is great this is like diamond painting it couldn't be any easier and you'll see the types of symbols that they use 
they're printed really clearly. This is just going to be really fun to work on. Um, this is a smaller sized canvas. Um, the canvases that I've seen on YouTube are giant. I don't know if I have the patience for a giant canvas, so I thought I would start with something smaller. This is about three times as big as anything I've done in my whole life as far as cross stitch goes. Um, not diamond painting or whatever, but anyways, I wanted to measure how many centimeters this is. So that's 15, 30, yes, I'm low tech, 30. So this is 40 this way. Is this what they have put on here? No, they said 47. So they are including the entire canvas and it's 40 just from the top of this butterfly wing to the bottom of this one. And then we have some white area that isn't gonna be stitched. And I'm assuming it's gonna be, oh, probably 25 or so the other way. Let's see, 15. 25 so this is actually 25 by 40 um that's great i'm just gonna note that here 25 by 40 stitched not that it matters it really doesn't but if you are going to hang it or frame it that information could be important um so with these canvases i think most people know once you wash them all of this printing disappears. This is really um, easy to clean ink. Um, so the first time you wash it, all of those colors are gone. The only thing that's left is your stitching. I think this is gonna be really, really pretty. Um, I'm super looking forward to doing it. And I will put the link below Again, I'm in um, Canada, so the link that I put will be Amazon Canada, but you should be able to find the US link, or uh, if I can find it, I will um, include it in there. The instructions are on the back for how to do everything. I'm just really looking forward to this. What a pretty picture. Don't forget to give a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't. We are going to be having a lot of DIY crafts as well as craft kits on this channel, which I think you will enjoy. Bye-bye.